Okay, hi guys, hope everybody's ready. So I'm just gonna show you how to play the intro and part of the verse for this song, Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You by Led Zeppelin. So what I'm doing, first up, is the chords. I'm just starting off with a straight A minor. If you're new to this, let me just call it out to you. My index finger is on the B string, on the first fret, which is our C note. And my middle finger is on the D string, on fret two, and my third finger is directly below up on the G, okay? Straight A minor. So we're just gonna hold that shape, keep it there, and we're gonna focus on this hand, okay? The rhythm hand. So what's going on is, um, I'm gonna play it. So let me play it for you slowly. Yeah. So I'm grabbing the thumb to grab the A string. And then I'm playing the D with my index. And then my middle finger is playing the G. So there's your first three. A, D, G. And then my third finger is going to grab the high E. Okay, again, I'm going to start picking these guys again. So we're going to go A, D, G, but this time we're going to grab the B. So slowly all together. And that in itself is really just um, a really good exercise if you just want to get used to that first. Okay, so moving on. And I'm going to inform what's, I'd look at this as being a G over C, a slash chord, I'll talk more about that in our private lessons. So what I'm going to do is if you form, um, from so from the A minor, what I do, really the most efficient way to form this chord, is use my third finger and bring it up to the G, the low, the low G and the third fret, okay? Then we've got the shape, so let me call that my index finger. So if you hold the A minor, all I'm moving is my third finger up to the low E on the third fret, which is our G note, and then we have the G over C. Okay, you can look at it like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add on. I'm gonna use my little finger to grab the B string on the third fret, which is our D note. And the picking, so the first time around, you fret this note, okay, which is our D note, B string, third fret, okay? So we're calling out from the top, low E, third fret, middle finger grabbing D string, second fret, okay? At this point, my my little finger is gonna be grabbing the B on the third fret, but I'm gonna fret the C here, the C note on the first fret, because we're gonna be taking this off, so I'd start off with this shape, okay? My rhythm hand is gonna play the low E, the D, the G, and a B. Okay? The picking pattern is slightly different on this chord. So low E, D, G and B. And the fingers I'm using is the thumb, which I generally use for the bass. Index finger grabbing the D, middle finger grabbing the G, and the third finger grabbing the B. Okay, with the left hand then, I'm just gonna play that through once. And then I'm gonna take the little finger off, and then I'm gonna cycle the same finger picking pattern with this up. Okay, so we've got this. Move back so you can get both hands in, so. Release. Okay, so slowly from the start, we've got this. Okay, next chord, so slowly, up to speed. Now we're gonna form this chord. Now, this is an F sharp over D. Okay, again, another slash chord. It's one of the things I like about this song is it's got open chords, slash chords, and bar chords in there. So it's a lovely progression. Now, usually I'd form it like this with my index finger grabbing the F sharp and the D, which you might, you know, you'll recognize that from highway to. But because of what's about to happen, or what he's gonna do with this chord, this is the only way to really finger it this time, so because of what I'm about to do afterwards. So, my little finger is gonna grab the B string in the third fret, 
my third finger is going to grab the G string on the second fret and my middle finger is going to grab the F sharp and the low E on the second fret. Okay, so we're going to play that once through, same finger picking pattern as before, low E, D, G, B, okay, it's nice and slowly, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play that through once, then I'm going to take the little finger off and plant the index finger on the B string in the first row. Okay, so that, that, that part together slowly sounds like this. Earth. And with the previous parts. Okay, moving on. We're going to form an F major root 6 bar chord here. And if you're new to this, this is a particularly difficult place to do bar chords in the first fret because you're closer to the tune and beg, so you require a little bit more strength to hold it down. You can use your index finger to bar all six strings. My middle finger is on the G string on the second fret or A note, and my third finger is grabbing the A string on fret through, and my little finger is grabbing D directly below. That's kind of a traditional way of holding this chord voicing now. So from here, from the D, going to do after we hold this down with this hand is going to be the same finger picking pattern low E D G and B okay you just play that once now what happens next is it goes to an E major which you usually play like that if you're used to it but because in this bar chord you've kind of formed the shape already with these fingers what I'd recommend, you don't have to do this, is I've already formed the shape, so take, release the index finger and simply move back a semitone. And then you've got your E major there. And again, same finger picking pattern, you just play that. Okay, and you could do the F major like this if you like, and go back to the traditional shape. I just find because I've already formed it there with these fingers, it's just a case of moving it back. It just kind of makes it more sense to me to do that. But if you want to do it the other way, neither is right or wrong, so whatever you decide to do. Moving on, we form the A minor again, but this time we're going to play a high G on the, the high E string on fret 3. Now, with picking hand we're going to go A, D, G, and then we're going to skip over the B and grab the high, high E which is the high G note as we fretted it. So we'll go on thumb, on the A, index on the D, middle on the G, third finger, grabbing the high E. We're going to start the cycle again, and this time we're going to release the, the fretted high G on fret 3. Same finger picking pattern with this hand, exactly the same, you're just simply releasing that. And that's it. Okay, the rest of the, what I played, which is the intro and part of the verse, is exactly the same. So you do the same D sharp, the F over, excuse me, the F sharp over D, and back to there. So there's nothing new to learn there, it's simply a case of repeating it. Same with the F major, and the same with the E major. That's just repetition. So the only difference between the first time you play this chord progression and the second time is that you add on the second time around you add this high G to both the A minor and then when you do the C over G and that's the only difference between the two uh, chord progressions okay and that's kind of the intro uh, if anybody wants me to show you the whole rest of the song please let me know but I just am uh, going to do a series of classic acoustic introductions that I think are a little bit more beginner to intermediate friendly to help you guys out. So let me know how you're doing and play it back to me. I will go through more of the theory regarding the slash chords, the bar chords, the open chords, particularly the slash chords because they're kind of new to a lot of people. I'll go through that in our private one-to-one -one lessons. See you soon. Enjoy. It's a classic song. I still like it when I hear it. Bye.